Welcome to Sunday School Lesson at a Glance, a ministry of the Sunday School Publishing Board, where we focus on teaching, engaging, application, and learning for teachers and students. Now, I will share some teaching tips to use when teaching this lesson. Again, our focus is on teaching, application, engagement, and learning. Teaching tips. I'm going to share with you the ABCD plan to use when studying and preparing to teach. A, ask the Lord to make the lesson real to you. You begin by praying and asking God to reveal, unfold, and make the lesson real to you. B, begin your Bible study early. C, concentrate on Bible study. You want to dig deep in the scripture, reading the background scripture and other related texts. And D, detail your plan. This is where you look at this pupil book, you look at the commentary and other teaching aids and lay out your lesson. You can find more information on the ABCD plan and other teaching tips in my book, Effective Teaching Practices for 21st Century Christian Educators through the Sunday School Publishing Board. I am now going to share an engagement activity that you can use when teaching this lesson. In this week's lesson, we see how the words time, obedience, growth, and wisdom were exhibited in the life of Jesus at the age of 12. A great discussion question is, what is the significance of these words in our growth and development as Christians? Depending on the size of your class, this can be set up in a panel format or a small group discussion. If you choose to have a panel, identify your panel members ahead of time so that they can be prepared. You can assign each panel member a word. For a group activity, assign each group a word. The words again are time, obedience, growth, and wisdom. This is a wonderful activity that uh, you can use to dig deeper and to get the class involved as you discuss and talk about uh, time, obedience, uh, wisdom, these words that are related in our lesson this week. Again, in choosing an activity, you want to choose an activity that will reinforce and teach the biblical truth of the lesson. Lesson application. As noted on page 39 in the Adult Faith Pathway Sunday School book, this week, take some time to appreciate the wisdom of others by holding to the age-old adage, we have two ears and one mouth. That means we should listen twice as much as we talk. Thank you for tuning in to Sunday School Lesson at a Glance. I hope these teaching tips are helpful to you as you prepare to teach and study God's Word. For additional information and resources, contact the Sunday School Publishing Board. We invite you to join us each week as we take a glimpse into the Sunday School Lesson. Subscribe now.